Hi guys. A friend of mine asked me um, if I could convert some CDG karaoke discs to play in OTS, which is um, professional DJ software stroke karaoke uh, software. And um, this would appear to be a simple task, but uh, he tried to do it and he, he found that. Um, the labelling of the um, the karaoke discs on FreeDB was incompatible with the labelling system used in Ops Studio. Now, there is a way around this. Um, but first of all, uh, a couple of words about karaoke discs. Um, they are basically CD audio discs with graphics which are stored on the disc in um, what are called sub-channels. And the sub-channels are not error-corrected, which means that the graphics can get corrupted very easily. So the first thing to do is to make sure that the disc is absolutely clean. If it's got scratches on it, I would recommend that you um, use something like Silvo or Brasso and a cloth to remove as many of the scratches as you can to leave the disc looking Uh, as mirror finished as possible. The next thing to consider is that many DVD CD ROM drives will not actually read karaoke, uh, the CDG sub channel. Uh, I'm actually using a Pioneer um, drive. Uh, I've got two drives in this machine and one seems to be much better than the other. Um, the later model, which is um, connected via an SATA cable, seems to be very poor at, at, at um, rendering the graphics correctly. Um, so I, I'm using an earlier um, CD-ROM drive which is actually a Pioneer DVD RW uh, which is DVR-116D. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to use some um, karaoke ripping software. I'm using Power CDG Burner which is available from uh, powerkaraoke.com this is actually an earlier version of the program um, you do have to pay for um, power CDG burner um, basically put the disc in click refresh and select all the tracks before you go any further make sure your output format is CDG plus MP3 and you can go into the settings and I would recommend that you rip um, the discs at 320 kilobits per second to mp3 um, as this will give you the best possible quality um, 128 kilobits per second um, can cause audible artifacts in the uh, reproduced audio which is undesirable and um, to be honest at 320 kilobits per second I can't tell the difference between that and the original CD so, using Power CDG Burner, we have the tracks, we have them all selected, and we rip them to um, a. Let me just delete those. That's a disk that I've just ripped previously. Uh, rip them to a folder, which can take about five minutes or so. So we'll do a jump cut in a minute. I'll just start the ripping process and there it goes. It says it's ripping tracks 1 of 17. Um, the drive starts off initially slow and then we'll speed up. If you find that the drive slows down then you've probably got scratches on the disc and you probably find that the resulting um, graphics are corrupted. So you need to keep a close eye on what's happening. As you can see, this disc is ripping perfectly fine at the moment. This is going to take a, a few minutes, so we'll uh, be back when the tracks are ripped. OK, so all the tracks have successfully ripped from the CDG karaoke disc to the hard drive as MP3s and CDGs as you can see I have 
17 tracks ripped onto this folder and two files for each karaoke track. So track one for instance is Christopher Lady in Red MP3 and Christopher Lady in Red CDG. Now you might think that you can just import that straight into what studio but that's not the case because the files are not in a well the file names are not in the correct format for Ot Studio to recognise the track numbers, the artist and the title. Uh, if I to if I were to rip this now and I'll, I'll just demonstrate, I'll just rip one track by using the batch convert can command. There we go, it's ripped one track, I'll abort that. And as you can see it's created a title 01 Christopher Lady in Red Ots. If I edit that, which will open it up in Ots Editor, as you can see the title is 01 Christopher Lady in Red. No artist information and no track information. And also I wanted to rip this as an album and it, if I were to let it carry on it would just rip uh, 17 individual Ots files and that's not what I want to do. So in order to get around this problem we can use a program called Bulk Rename Utility, which is um, available as freeware on the internet. All you need to do is look for Bulk Rename Utility. Several versions out there for various platforms. Uh, if I point the uh, utility to the directory with the karaoke files in, you can see I have a Wong Christopher, Lady in Red, etc. down to track 17. Now what I need to do in order for OTS to make the file uh, compatible with OTS Studio is to insert a dash between 01 and the Christopher and so on and also a dash between um, the artist and the title. Now on FreeDB these tend to have a single space after the track number and two spaces between the artist and title. Sometimes you'll find that the artist and title are reversed and it's, it's track zero, one, title, two dash, uh, two spaces and the artist. Uh, you can get around that problem in Ot Studio, as I'll show you in a moment. So what we need to do is select all the files and we need to add, which is this bit down here, add. We need to insert a space and a dash at position 4. So now the track is labelled 01 space dash space Christopher um, and then we need to use the replace function and we need to replace the two spaces between the artist and title so if I put two spaces and replace and then replace that with space dash space and then click rename the uh, whole of the 17 tracks will be renamed in a format now suitable for importing into what studio. So if I now restart the Ots Studio program and batch convert, click start batch convert, there's a little box there that says file names contain title artist instead of artist title. That needs to be unticked if they are in the format that I have them. Sometimes the artist and title are reversed. In that case, tick that box. Um, other things that you need to be aware of are this box here, which says CD plus G, accompanying CDG files, only if the file name matches an imported audio file, that needs to be ticked as well. Uh, we can now start the batch conversion. And what we should end up with in a moment is an OTS album containing the 17 tracks. So let's just see what it does. This doesn't take too long. It doesn't take as long as ripping the uh, MP3s or the audio CD to MP3. It probably takes about a minute, a minute and a half to do a 74 minute disc. Uh, 
as you can see it's importing each file now and if I look at the output folder which is the same as the input folder it's not actually creating individual lots files anymore so we're up to track 17 and it's now created a file called new folder dot ots let's just let it finish writing that if I now click on that with edit it'll come up in ots studio and as you can see I now have an album with 17 karaoke tracks the only other thing I need to do is to change the album title this particular track is called Easy Karaoke EK5 so I'm going to rename the album to EK05 I can then close that and save the only other thing I need to do then is change that from new folder dots to ek05 dots and that album is then ready to import into ots av or ots dj I shall just drag that across to there these are some other ones that I've created earlier for him uh, I hope you found that uh, useful I'll provide some links to the software that I've been using in the uh, description. Thanks for watching.